third time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes like they they i use they them pronouns up next we've got another misgendering meltdown because they just keep coming they really do Tried calling friends, nobody's picking up, so I just am gonna dump this here. It's the middle of the day, I completely understand, but I just had a really harrowing experience at work. I have this one coworker who simply refuses to use the correct pronouns for me. I've called her out every time she misgenders me, and she just is resigned to not change. And today just broke something in me. I just snapped. I ended up yelling at her after the third time she misgendered me and within like 30 minutes like they they i use they them pronouns and she got so defensive and i just started explaining to her like i'm sick and tired of the shit like you need to at least make an attempt and she popped off got upset got defensive what are you gonna do about it and i just said i'm gonna be really hurt and sad like that's all i can do about it and the worst part is that at that point, my boss, who claims to be so woke and like happy and joyous and making a safe, positive environment for everybody, gangs up on me with her and says like, this is Carson, like, shut up. This is not the time for a political statement. <laughs> and I was upset, rightfully so, but was t trying to take such a level-headed approach to it of like, this is not a political statement. My identity is not a political statement. It's just my identity. I mean, All dope. I'm asking you to do is respect that. And it really is within our own community <laughs> that people have the most rampant transphobia. I, the coworker that refuses to use the correct pronouns for me, claims to be bisexual, and she stands up and goes, when I came out as bisexual, everybody was mad at me. It's like, then why are you mad at the trans kid? Like, what? You want to inflict that same pain onto me? Why? It's so frustrating because then my boss spins it around as like, I'm the one who's making a scene and is being like over emotional or over sensitive. And it's like, all I am asking is for you to make an attempt to try and respect my gender identity. And they're both just going at me like, this is not the time. We're trying our best. You should be compassionate and understanding. You should just accept it with love and move on. Like, <laughs> it's so frustrating. I literally was shaking so hard. I just got up and left. I came to the beach. I didn't know what else to do. I was so mad. But this is just so hard it's so hard to be out and be vocal about it it's so hard to stand up for yourself because either you are a doormat or you're the bitch that like is over emotional and calls everybody out for the there's a lot to unpack there first off babe we got to stop this thing where people fake cry into TikTok. Or maybe it's a little real but she's definitely playing it up she's definitely choosing to cry into the camera for this we got to stop this thing where people cry into TikTok. Call your mom. Call your therapist. Don't go live on TikTok or whatever this is and complain about your life to your whole audience because of something so minor. It is honestly insulting to all the people with real ass problems in this world facing struggles that you called someone else's word choice at your work a harrowing experience. Babe. Y'all love to talk about privilege. Well, you must have had a pretty privileged life if that's harrowing for you. I do feel for you because I do believe, like you said, this broke you, this really hurt you. I do feel for this person, though, because I do believe she says it, she broke me, like this really hurt me. I do believe that at least some of that is real emotion and real hurt that this person was facing. But that is a you problem. Because that is wildly disproportionate to the circumstances that you have described here. Which means that you lack emotional resiliency. That you are emotionally fragile. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that because that's something you need to work on and improve to the point where you are a functioning adult. And can handle something not going quite your way or someone not being perfectly wonderful and nice to you without having a breakdown. Without fleeing your job and going to the beach and let's talk about the part where this person said you need to make an attempt no babe she doesn't we don't we don't have to we have the freedom of speech we do not have to accommodate you or use the words you want us to use some people might choose to 
and that's their choice, but they don't have to. I also, I did laugh at the part where she said her woke boss is like, nah, fuck this. And just, it just is even the woke boss is sick of how high strung this person is. And let's go back to this because she says like, my, my identity is not a political statement. It kind of is though. Like your claim to be non-binary is asserting a ideological claim that because you don't associate with male or female ma masculine or feminine stereotypes, that you somehow exist out of this binary, that you are some, you are trans, you are some new thing. We do not accept or agree with that ideological claim. And that is our right to disagree. People are, are male or they are female, or in extremely rare cases, they can be intersex. But the fact that someone doesn't conform to gender stereotypes is perfectly fine with me. I don't believe in any of that nonsense. But it doesn't make them a third thing. It doesn't make them exist outside of the binary. It just makes you a female who doesn't like dresses or makeup or isn't traditionally feminine or attracted to traditionally girly things. And that's totally fine. But it's not transgender. It's not a different sex. And we don't have to accept otherwise just because you're so insistent. And I'm not going to lie. Like, you can't just leave your job over something this minor. Um, and so... I hope the best for people like this, but I keep seeing these misgendering meltdown videos and I'm very concerned for people in, in Gen Z because either it's fake, right? And they're emotionally manipulating us for clout on the internet, or if they're really this distraught, there's something that's gone horribly wrong where they're at the point where they are so emotionally fragile, they can't function in the real world. And then I'm looking at the parents because they must've failed them. They must've really coddled that special snowflake if they can't handle going out into the world and hearing words they can't, that don't make their fifis feel warm inside. I hope you don't lose your job, but you probably will if you just rage quit and left because of this incident. And I just hope that you can accept yourself and not be so reliant on the validation of others that it compromises your ability to function.